Hey there, what's up? How are you guys doing? Welcome back to our channel. And this is the sixth video of our exciting series Build Jobs in Real Life. And today, in this video, we're going to create a function as in for our virtual assistant Jarvis. So, this is going to be a lot of more interesting and important video while building Jarvis in real life. So, sit back, relax, and let's get started. Alright, so this is the working directory, right? So, let me just create a file called function agent file. all right so before getting started let me tell you the idea so if you have followed my previous tutorial then we have to use if else statement like if open in query then open application that the user is trying to open all right so which was not a good practice so while creating jarvis we are not going to use the same process instead we're going to create an ai agent that will handle all the function related tasks means when the user want to open the website then it will take user query and analyze user query and based on the analysis it will return us some data which will use for the further processing like suppose user wants to open a website called youtube all right so user will just say job is open youtube then it will recognize the user query and analyze the user query and by analyzing the user query it will return us some data by which we're going to tell the AI what to do. If the user wants to open, then our AI will analyze the query and will inst uh, return us the data uh, by writing like um, user wants to open this application and then we will proceed it and the application will be opened. All right. So if you are not able to understand this, so first of all, we'll write the code, then I think you will get to know about it. All right. So what I'm going to do is let me go inside this models file and folder and go on ki.py and copy all this thing as it is. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this AI a special prompt so that it will act like as that. I'll tell him to act like as a function agent that will analyze user query and return us some dictionary about the data about the user. All right. So for that, I have already created a prompt that will help us to generate all the things. All right. So to get that from this, head over to iChrisStudio1.pythonanywhere.com. You will get the link in the description. All right. Once you are there, just redirect it to the blog section. All right. So here you will see a new blog post how to create a simple AI function as in using Broke API. All right. Just click on read more. So in this blog post, I have explained everything about creating the function AI. All right. So whenever you scroll uh, up a bit, then you will see this messages date. All right. Just copy this messages date. All right. For now, this copy button doesn't work. I don't know why. All right. So go and paste this right over here and it will look something like this yeah i'm telling it you are function agent that understand user query and determine if the query is related to opening closing searching in other actions if it is like that then it will listen as the json here for the demo purpose i have used a demo uh, of user telling it to open a website all right so here it will return us the function name which is open website and target entity type website or application and name here it will specify the app name suppose open youtube then it will open like youtube over right here all right. after that we have action details which will give us for a few more clarification about the action all right. so here's the description it will modify the user prompt i mean user query and it will write a modified version of the user query right over here and user query will be in this thing optional query and is action identified which will take boolean value and then we have action type what type of action is needed to done searching opening website closing website like that action will be updated right over here and after that we have got response where the response is stored. suppose the ai has opened the youtube then we need a message to inform the user that the uh, YouTube has been opened. All right. So the response will be stored in, uh, inside this response. And we have code snippet right over here where it will tell us what type of language it is. Uh, by default, it is Python. All right. And then we have code where the code is there. All right. So this is a prompt by which our AI will generate, I mean, act like as a function as well. So let me give it a test. 
while one we will print a function in input all right so let me run let me i open youtube there you go we got it text my object a function name open website target the website name youtube and the description open with a website open youtube i please action add in the right view and all the data all right so with all this data and here you can see the code as well okay so after that we're going to open all the thing and so we're going to process the data we're going to convert this situation into python dictionary so that it will be easier for us to open action on that dictionary and then we will continue all the things all right so just head over to the blog post and just scroll to the bottom and here you can see the full code all right so let me copy this main loop and paste it right over here all right so let me import the json json okay so now let me explain you what is happening right over here in the rest session we are uh, storing the json all right so what does this line does is we are using a regular expression to remove any control character from the string rest.json control characters are uh, the characters uh, which are non-printable like individual characters like new lines tabs and other special character that can sometimes sneak into a string when it is coming from an api all right so this character can mess up the process of turning string into a structure format json that's why we are using this code to remove those characters all right and after that we have created a variable rest where we are going to convert this json into a python dictionary so that it will be easier for us to take action on that all right after doing so we have created a code variable to take out the code from that thing and we have executed the code if it is there all right after executing let me print when the format is string we'll give it a new line and then this in response all right so now let me run this thing and see if it is working or not response and then here let me turn the response all right so now we are good to go so before running let me tell you one thing like i haven't told this to create a new line all right so that's where we are getting some error so let me modify the form just instead of copying this thing i'll update it later but um, if it is not updated then just go over this thing and copy this message stick and paste it right over here so that you won't get any error all right so now let me run it should work properly now open youtube let's see all right there you go it has been opened and the accent requested by the user has accepted one object which the user has opened the user request all right open notepad or open and spend there you go that is working absolutely fine and then open our search search for studio, studio on google all right there you go open page okay, let me close that all right this is working absolutely fine okay so yeah that's much for today's video and i hope you found this video helpful
Here we have just created a Bish, uh, basic function agent which we are going to integrate in our Jarvis ladder to make it even more powerful. All right. So yeah, that's much for today's video, and I'll catch you in our upcoming videos. Till then, take care. Bye bye.